everybody. It's Andrew Brown from Native's Cloud Project Bootcamp. As we continue on with our serverless avatar implementation, we have the files uploading. The next thing is to make sure they display uh, to our front end and whether we want to do that extra CloudFront function thing if it turns out to be easy. But you know, nothing ever seems to be easy for us, but that's just how it is. Anyway, so the idea is that we have in our bucket, um, in our avatars, uh, assets. Uh, I deleted a couple because there was uh, old ones there, the mock, the mock ones there. But in here, uh, we should have something in here based on whatever your Cognito user UID is. Um, I'd like it to be the user UID. We do not have that information available. At least um, we did not package it part of the JWT payload. Uh, if there is a way to put it in there, I'm not sure, but that'd be nice. Um, but anyway, the point is, is that this is what we have and this is what we're going to work with. So, um, what we need to do is to make it render out uh, avatars. So maybe this one is a good candidate for the first one. Um, that is something like profile, profile info maybe. Uh, I believe it is this component here. Yeah, because it has the sign out. And so we have profile avatar. Um, I The question is, should we make avatar its own its own component, uh, I suppose we could. So let's go over here on the left-hand side. We'll go into our components directory. We'll say profile avatar JS. Um, and we'll just need some code to work with here. So I'll go over here. It doesn't matter. I'll just grab this one here and we'll go back to profile avatar, paste this in. And at the top here, we'll have profile avatar. And make a new file here. We'll call this profile avatar CSS. Um, and this one will be called profile avatar. And uh, down below here, we'll need some of our mar uh, mockups or, or markup, mockup, markup, markup. And so that was in our profile info. Uh, we want this. Okay, so I'll bring this over here. We'll bring this down here, and that's what we are looking for. Um, now we need to display the uh, style there. So we've done style once, I think, with banner. So let's, I don't know if I made that into its own thing. Probably didn't. Uh, but we will just go open that anyway. So that's in the profile um, heading, I believe, where we have done some style stuff with the banner. Yes, that's how we did it there. So we'll just grab styles like this. And we will, since there's only one element here, I'm just gonna bring this down the line so my life's a little bit easier. And we'll go ahead and paste this in here. And so now what we need to do is grab the styles up above and we will paste this stuff in uh, right here. And this is where we can set different things like background image and stuff. So we have an endpoint here where this was hard coded to the banner. And so what we need to do here is have in here the Cognito user ID. So that's what we want. Um, the question is what is stored in that user? Because that's the only place where we get our data. So I'm gonna go over uh, to, uh, was it user data? Uh, check auth is the name of the file. And in here we should set the user, right? And here it sets the display name and the handle. So we don't actually even necessarily set the, um, that value there, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's not available to us. So what we should do is console log out the Cognito user so we can get the data that we need. So I'll go here and do this and just say C, 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 and I know it sounds like I'm saying yes, but I'm not. Uh, and this, this thing shouldn't matter. We haven't used it yet, but I'm just gonna comment that out just in case it throws us any errors. We'll go back to our application. We want to observe that information. We'll go down below here. It has username, which is technically correct. Um, but I wanna see if I can get a better named attribute like sub, uh, just so that there's no case of denying which one is the actual, because you can have a different username, I think. So uh, we didn't do it that way. We didn't know what we were doing, but uh, we'll just go here and do user UID, and from here it'll be similar. It'll be cognito user attributes and sub. Okay, and so now that will be available there. If we go back over here, we want to access this by the props. So in here, I'll just take that out as such, and we'll just pretend that we already have our data. So we'll go here like this, and we'll do 
this and we'll say props uh, user cognito user UID. And so now we have it there, but we have to actually call this somewhere. So we'll go back to our profile info here. And we want to call this function. So I'll just go here and say uh, profile avatar and then user equals user. We might actually already have user available here. That'd be really nice. I see props user, so it must be there. So we'll say props user. We'll go to the top and we'll import this. We'll say import, uh, import profile avatar. It's the default, so we shouldn't have to wrap it in curlies there. It's not really an export. Uh, and then we'll say here, this will be um, components, profile, avatar, very good. And so I think that that should bring it in and hopefully the background works. It says cover and center. Uh, I think cover is what we're looking for. We'll hit refresh here. Uh, we see two of them, that's okay. We probably have to remove the old one. We'll go back to our profile info here, scroll on down and delete the old one. And then we'll debug and see what is going on here. Maybe it's saying it cannot find that value. It is doing a get, a 403, uh, unauthorized. We have those ones, but this one is unauthorized. Interesting. Um, oh, well, the pathing's not correct. At least I don't think it is. Because in our bucket here, it is in uh, not this one, it's over here. It's in a folder called avatars. So we'll go back over here and uh, we'll go and say in front of this avatars. There we go, we'll go back over here, give us a refresh. Look at that, it's loading it, how nice. We can get it over here as well into our major uh, profile here. Now these do have two different sizes so we might have to uh, goof around with styling here for a second. Uh, but we'll go to profile heading over here and we will uh, import the profile avatar. This is being used somewhere here. Avatar is somewhere here, right? Right here. Um, now this one, one's inside of the other. So, I, you know, like it's just, it depends on how you want to do it. Um, I think it's totally fine that we, uh, we did with style. So, you know, I, I did it this way. And I don't know, it just depends on how you want to do it. Um, so I think it's totally fine that we're doing it this way. So user equals props user. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily passing uh, the user here. So what we'll do is just uh, delete that out here for a second. Well, actually this is different because we actually have to get it from the profile. So we'd say profile, uh, profile here. And then that's expecting that value on there. I mean, another thing that we could do is explicitly pass the um, Cognito user ID because we really don't need um, to pass that object in. So I think that's actually what I'd rather do to make that a little bit more clear. So in our profile info, we'll go down here and where we're passing in that, we'll just say uh, Cognito user UID. And I'll just say like the ID in here. And then in our profile avatar, Instead of doing um, that, we'll just say ID. Okay, and then this one here, we can do dot cognito user UUID. We'll have to go grab that from our data. So this is in the user show, I believe. If we go here, we should be able to find it. Um, and we don't, we're not showing it. So we'll have to say users uh, cognito user ID. I'm going to say as cognito. I'm not sure if it's still called that. Let's just make sure that it's still named wrong. Um, under users here. Yeah, so that's fine. So we'll just go here and we'll just say UUID. So we are trying to kind of fix the consistency. Sometimes when you find that you start working towards that, we'll have to have a comma on the end there. Let's see if we get any errors because we're changing so much stuff. No error there, but um, you know that has different styling, so that might be the reason why it is uh, messing up there. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go over to the profile heading, uh, and it'd be nice to normalize this stuff, but we just don't have time to do that. So we'll just do profile avatar here. Uh, we'll bring this up here as such. The border radius will still be here. 
and we'll do that. Maybe that's why we needed the extra image was to have the border on there. Maybe not. We'll refresh this, see if it still works. Um, I don't see the element. Um, so we'll go back over here. We do see an undefined here. So maybe it's not returning that data that we think it is. We go over into our response here. Not that one. Uh, for this user, maybe. Nope. For this one. Profile. Cognito user UID is being returned. So it should have that data, but down below here we see undefined, and I believe that is going here to avatars. So it must not be passing that over correctly. Um, this is our profile heading JS. So we scroll on down here. We're looking for that avatar that we inserted here, cognito user UUID. So, I mean, that should be correct, right? Because if we go here, we see it here. The only thing I can think of is I spelt it incorrectly, which is not the first time I've done something, but I'll copy and paste it just to rule that out. Uh, so we're not playing games here all day. We will paste this in. It's showing the same information. So not exactly sure what's going on there. We'll give this a refresh uh, and we'll go in here and we will take a look at the actual one here. And you'll notice it is saying banner. That's fine, we'll expand this. So I'm saying undefined. Why is it undefined? Uh, is there some additional stuff that we're doing to set it? I don't think so. It's just in the props, right? Um, this is coming from the user feed homepage. And uh, here we will look for it. So set profile. Yeah, it's just JSON. There's nothing special, right? We can say console log set profile. Res JSON profile. And uh, we'll go back over here, refresh. We drop it down here. It shows it here, cognito user, user UID. It must be something obvious because, something simple and obvious because there's no reason that would work for that reason. Uh, we don't have like a use effect on there, so it's possible that it's rendering and the data is not there. But then if that's the case, why is all the other stuff rendering without issue? Why would one render and the other one not render? Um, if that's the case, what we could do is bring in a, a React use effect uh, if we just don't trust it. Well, no, because it's just props again, so that stuff should propagate. There should be no issue there. Um, but it's saying this is nil, but these ones aren't nil. Um, well, you know what we could do, just as a sanity check, we could just go here and do this. I, I, do we need doubles or singles? I always forget now. Oh, I think it's just singles. So let's just render that value plainly in there and then see what happens. Maybe we'll just say undefined in there. Uh, it's, it's rendering it right there. So it does exist. There's no way that it's not there, but here it's showing that it doesn't exist. Interesting. I'll go back over here and so it is being passed in. For sure it is. We'll go back over here. Oh, uh, this is ID now. That's an easy one. Told you it'd be easy. We'll go back over here. We'll give it a refresh. So now it should be showing it. It's going to be our styling that's messed up. So this is definitely uh, the correct, correct here, but it's not displaying it correctly. It probably needs a position relative based on our styling. So I'll go here and say, well, it says absolute here. Um, I mean, that seems okay to me. We'll go back over here. We'll go uh, take a look again. Um, we'll just inspect again here. And down below here, if we go here, uh, profile avatar. It's not picking up. Maybe because it's typed a bit different. Maybe we have to have a hyphen in between. Yeah, that's the issue. Should have kept very consistent, but I did not uh, when we were working on that. So we'll go ahead and save that. I'll go refresh this. There we go. It's still showing my nice little board around there. So we're in good shape. Uh, I need to show up this one as well. So this is just other data. So we have a lot more endpoints that we need to update. Um, I don't feel like doing this right now. I think that we have this part working. So, uh, I mean, you could do the rest. We'll, we'll, we'll do it at some point, but I guess the next thing would be look at that CloudFront thing. But now that we have this working, I just want to stop the video here, okay?
So you have an easy win here. And then if you see another video from me, you, you know we're doing the CloudFront stuff. All right. Ciao, ciao.